middle distance race of the day, the women's mile. The number we have in mind, Brandon, 440, and uh, this field is loaded. It is. One name to watch is Alexa Efremson. You'll see her uh, the first hit of the staggered bunch. We'll get into it as this race kicks off. So there she is wearing number 11. She turned pro while still in high school. Uh, decided to forego her final years of high school eligibility. Just had a tremendous career thus far. Uh, this year is the World Championships in Eugene in July. So I'm certain that is something that she is uh, prepping for and uh, maybe seeing what the uh, what the winter training has, uh, has brought her so far. Yep, this is her second race of the season. Opened uh, earlier this year at Texas A&M with a 446 mile. We know she can run faster than that and has in the past been down in the 420s previously. Uh, ran at the trials in 16, coming right off of that high school career, placed sixth in 2020, did not make the final round. So it's been a couple of tough years since the hot start to her career, but uh, she's one of several athletes in that low 430s range, and then many more in that backpack will be targeting 440. 65 and change for our expected pace setter for the lead group. That is Rachel Walters from the Atlanta Track Club Elite. And so far, you know, we're expecting to have two pacers. They're in first and second, but our second group has not made the way up to the first quite yet. If Fremson's right there, um, it looks like Katie Izzo from Adidas is right behind her. They're in good enough position. They're on the pace, but you'd like to see that gap close between the pace setters so that when time uh, you know, for, for the first to pop off, the second is right there to pick it back up. They're a little bit off the pace, you would think, based on how far back they are from the first pace setter. So 139 through 600 uh, meters, and you talked about that core group of collegians sort of well removed from where the tempo is being put down for, for these athletes. Uh, and uh, Ephraimson is right there where she needs to be sitting in the number three position as the uh, the two rabbits are only uh, a couple strides apart. And we'll get the 880 yard split, 214 as Walters stepped off the track. And it's in the capable hands of Miss Sisson. Oh, uh, sorry, that's uh... I think I was mistaken, so I guess, I think Yo Yolanda Norobi is here, if it hit 15, it is racing. Yeah, so. Uh, and then Sisson is, is the blue, or, or at least one of the, the bodies leading in the back group. In the back group, okay. Yeah. All right, so uh, Ephraimson, again, in second place. And the pace is there for our lead professionals. Yolanda Narambi, her teammate, set the tempo. And Ephraimson having some difficulty on the rail on the back straightaway. It looked like she almost uh, ventured to step off. Kind of lost her balance. And we'll get the 13-20 uh, yard split, three quarters of a mile. And only time to tell how quickly 324 so they're on 432 pace for the full mile. And here comes a little move around by Ephraimson. She looks very comfortable through the halfway mark, through 1K. Can she lay something down and keep on that quick pace? Do not count out Lindsay Butterworth, who just moved into third place. More of an 800 meter runner, represented Canada at the Olympics at 800 meters last year. She's in striking distance to at least come up into second, if not challenge for the lead. But right now, it is all Ephraimson as she takes a look back into the belt. She looked left early on into the turn, quick look right, but it's all her against the clock. Again, a solid pace set up, 214 through the opening, 880. 324 and three quarters. And pulling away from this field as expected. Ephraimson going for the line. She's going to be in the 420s. And with the win, 429 point. 429.78. And that group in the back, 
in the 435 to 440. Almost everybody in this field under 440. We'll have to wait to see how many or if any of them are, are part of our previous group who's been under. But uh, uh, great showing. We, we didn't get a chance to highlight each of them individually throughout the race, but that whole pack ran together in the second group right behind their pacer and got it done. 438.12 was good for 10th place in this race.